Good evening and welcome to Elida High School, the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse, where tonight WSN brings you a regional semifinal matchup in the Division Four. It is the undefeated Mohawk Warriors, number six ranked in the state, and the Tamron Gregory's Crestview Knights. They are 23 and two in our regional semifinal. My name is Mark Steins. My players will be played by Sia Play alongside Chris Luthold. Chris, Mohawk, undefeated. Coach this guy's 400th win last weekend, his 20th year, solid program, good players. They've been good for many, many years, and uh, I, I'm sure they're pointing this year to be the year that they can do it all. And 25-0, they've got a solid, solid team and played a lot of good competition, and I'm sure they're going to be ready for this match tonight. Well, one of those players is number 11, Biz Klopp, and a tall girl, 6'1", 6'2", in that general area. A sophomore this year. She was player of the year in the Northern Ten Conference a year ago as a freshman. She had 462 kills. Well, she's got that many kills um, so far. And if you're looking at 25 games, that's pretty close to 20 a, 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 a match. That's that's really a lot of kills. Terry Gregory's team, they were in the state tournament a year ago when they lost to New Bremen three sets to one. They've got just two seniors on this team, but a very talented Callie Gregory, who's player of the year in the Northwest Conference this year. Yeah, and you know, she's played since she was a freshman. She's been a leader since she's been a freshman. She'll be hitting and setting, and uh, and they've got other players that to go along with her also. So she had 310 kills and 510 assists. That's a rare combination. A, a real chat talented dual player. She's going to be a basketball player at St. Francis uh, next year. Our officials today, our R1 will be Gary Oshkar, and our R2 is Nicholas Pimento. Our two line judges are Neil Kine and Jack Welch. And we are about to play regional volleyball. The winner will get to play Tiffin Calvert in this facility at 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Calvert was able to win this evening over Ayersville 25-18, 25-22, and 25-12. Calvert, a regular feature in regional volleyball and state tournament action, Chris. Yeah, this is almost uh, their home court. They play <laughs> here every year, it seems like. And many times they've gotten to state, and they have a couple state championships under their belt. And the winner of this team has their work cut out. The winner of this match has their work cut out on Saturday. The Mohawk Warriors are on the left of your screen. They're in the black uniforms with the, the red and white trim. Their libero is Allison Rustler. She is uh, Allison Rus Rustler. She is wears number six, and uh, she is not currently in the match right now. But she will have a red jersey on. Crestview, they're on the right side of your screen. They're in the blue with the uh, red trim, and their libero is Ellie Klein, and she is in the red jersey. And we are ready for regional semifinal volleyball. Set in the middle. Etzler tips. Set, and that is. An attempted kill by Biz Klopp. Just a little bit, uh, just a little bit out of bounds on the left sideline. So the first point will go to the Crestview Knights. We're going to see a good matchup here because Etzler is matched up against Klopp in the front row. It should be interesting. Here's the set by Caitlin Og, and then there's a kill attempt, and it is out. As Klopp has missed twice now. Well, given name is Elizabeth and goes by Biz. I get it. Served to the libero, Russell. Kill attempt. That was banged over by Avery Hoover. And that one is Casey Gregory. That was hit to the libero, Klein. Short set, tipped by Etzler. Blocked by Etzler, by Etzler. A future Ashland Eagle volleyball player puts her team up 3-0 early as Adeline Figley will continue to serve. And her serve goes long. First point for Mohawk. Our vantage points, Chris, on the baseline here. Not always the most advantageous place to catch numbers, and we'll do um, the best we can here. Here's the service by Avery Hoover. Ball's banged over, but done so illegally on a good serve. Yeah, we can see the, the big numbers on the backs of the <laughs> Mohawk players, but we're looking at the small numbers, plus we got players standing in the way. Hoover serves, hits that one to Gregory. Casey Gregory plays it across. 
Ball's tipped in the middle by Klopp. And then banged to the back row. And a really nice play. Put the ball right where no one could touch it. It's 2 4 42. And this will be Casey Gregory to serve. She has 30 aces on the season. Good serve from her. Etzler at the net. Here's Klopp. Tipped across by Callie Gregory. Klopp again. Gregory again. Good coverage there. Callie Gregory goes off two blockers and gets a point. Five, two nights early on. Boy, they, they set Klopp almost every play, they do. possession, don't yeah, they? Yeah, she's probably had six attempts already, no kills yet. Casey Gregory, the 5'5 five, five freshman. Set. This hit will be by Avery Chevalier. Avery scores. That's her first kill. First kill for Mohawk. 5-3. That will bring uh, Faith Miller in. And, and then into back row to serve. And the set will be Molly Ward. Molly has 18 aces and 463 assists on the season. Gregory off into two blockers. Gregory again, just tips it to an open area, smart play. Well, you see that a lot. You get blocked, you come right back with a tip. That's her second kill. And it will be uh, Callie Gregory's turn to serve. She has 37 aces on a well-balanced team when it comes to aces. She is the leader. The libero will have to set Russell. And a double contact by Haley McCoy. Well, she got in the net, didn't she? My yeah, mistake. she was in the net. Yep. You can, it's still bobbing. <laughs> Six, four nights as the libero Russell serves. To her counterpart, Klein. And Gregory hit it to me. Just a little bit out of bounds. Uh, just a little bit and knocked my headset off. We're in kind of that spot. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. This time Gregory tips and gets blocked at the net by Maya Miller. By Mia Miller, excuse me. Here's a set. And then just pushed over by uh, Kelly Gregory. And this time we have another night in the net. This time it's number three, Kelly Gregory. We're tied at six. Ball was hit by Faith Miller, the senior right side. Hit, hit the ball pretty good. Callie Gregory hits it with the left hand. Middle hit that time was by Miller. This is going to be set. And the libero went up to get it. And we tried and it came back on the Crestview side of the net. And then 7 6. First lead for the Mohawk. And you can probably hear the Mohawk students. They're about 10 feet from us, and they're pretty loud. As well they should be. Gregory, two-handed tip. Right there's a setter. Gregory winds up, hits it hard that time, and point for her. We're tied at seven. Kill number three. She's gotten set quite a few times, and about half the time she's tipped it. One for a kill. But... Uh, She's tipped it two or three times after that, and then Mohawk's been on top of it. That's her third kill. That serve was by McCoy. And good job keeping it inside the antenna that time by Chevalier. Figley hit that one. Should be Adlin again. And she finds an open spot and drops it in. Knights up 8-7 as Josie Kawicki will serve again. Here's the set by Mo Molly Ward. And right at the net, not going to straight down is my Miller. We're tied at eight. Well, Mark, so far there have been a, a lot of uh, contested hits at the net. A lot of hits have been blocked, and the coverage has uh, been pretty good and the ball's been kept in play. 
but both teams are blocking pretty well. Gracie Klaus serves, and she will score for her team. It's 9-8. Gracie is 5-3, and one of the seven seniors to play for Coach Eric Hoover. Gregory tipped it over, and then blocked that one to net for a point. Second, Callie Gregory. Second block for uh, Crestview. And it will be Callie's turn to serve with our score tied at nine. Just free balled over. Figley rolls it to the middle of the floor. Twice she's done that. Yeah, she's got two kills now. Three different girls have kills for Crestview. Just kind of find that open spot right in the middle of that dead zone. Kelly Gregory again. And Kelly Gregory is going to chalk up an ace. That would be her 37th of the year. 38th of the year. The team leads by two. There's a point by the setter that time. Being in the front row, that was Molly Ward. And it's 11-10, Knights. And yeah, that ball was just a little bit too tight to the net for her to set, so decided just to tip it on over and picks up a kill. Here's Caitlin Odd, her turn to serve. Figley. Figley's going to get another one. That was blocked, but a point's going to go to Crestview on the illegal contact. 12-10. And Ellie Klein will serve the 5-5 junior libero. She has 27 aces this evening. Blocked with the net, but the point will go to Avery Hoover. 12-11. That's her first kill. That was Miller. Served that one. Ooh. That's her. And Maya Etzler scores. She put that one right down. It's nice to be 6'3", isn't it? Of course, yeah, I, you're 6'5". I, well, so. I used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Little back issues and a couple of knee surgeries. and Probably not anymore. <laughs> Bigley. Hits it right to Russell, the libero. Back in the game is Clock. This is her turn to rotate to the front row. And that is Casey Gregory. Avery Hoover. Clop right in the middle. That play was made possible though by number 10, Klaus. She was on top of that uh, that tip. It's a setter set over and um, a good job. So give her the, the kudos, but give Klop the kill. Avery Hoover has 40 aces on the year. She is the leader for this Warrior team in that category. Hog sets. Casey Gregory, did she miss the sideline? She did. Not by much. And we are tied at 13. It's Avery's turn to serve again. Short set. Etzler in the middle. Gregory sets again. That one's hit to Russell. Russell plays it over from her libero position. And that point goes to Kelly Gregory from the back row. 14, 13 nights, 27 points. So far, neither team's been able to put much of a run together. Crestview led 6-3. That's the biggest lead of the, of the night, and that's going to be an ace. That's to Casey Gregory. That would be her 31st of the season. Pushes the lead back up to two for the Knights. Klein will set this time. Callie Gregory's hit off the net. Klopp gets it through a blocker and scores. She pounded that right through Etzler's arms, right between them. 462 kills in their 25 matches. 464 now. <laughs> okay. Here's Molly Ward. 
She has 463 assists. The other setter, Caitlin Ogg, has 482. So very balanced in that area. That hit was by Etzler. The set this time by Lickley. And a block at the net. That one will go to uh, Clock. Clock. And we are tied at 15. Mohawk has led twice, 7-6 and 9-8. Trying to do it for a third time right here. Tip to the back row, she got it. Oh, she missed the backside. And here is a lead for the Mohawk Warriors at 16-15. That was close, Chris. That was very close. But the line judge called it immediately. And Gregory scores. Well, that's where, excuse me, scores. They're tied at 16. My Etzler's turn to serve. She has 34 aces this season. A lot of these servers have between 30 and 40 ace serves, which might seem like not very many. But both of these teams play. Both of these teams play really tough schedules with teams that can pass serve really well and it's very difficult to get a serves against teams like that. Gregory hit that ball. And missing on that kill attempt was Mia Miller. And we are tied at 17. Josie Kowicki enters. She and uh, Adlin Fidley both entered. Kowicki uh, serve. Big hit. Adeline Figley. I, I, I spoke with you earlier, Chris. I think every time I see her this year, she's gotten better. First team all conference player in the Northwest Conference. Well, that's really a, that, that's a good compliment then. She's got four kills tonight. That's Black. Adeline Figley hits it, it's blocked, but blocked out of bounds. 19-17. Again, both teams continue to block well. Uh, they're right on top of that, but just, uh, just ball went out of bounds. That ball is played to me. Well, almost to me anyway. And that is a four-point run. That is a 2017 freshman lead. That is a Mohawk Warrior timeout. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our scorebook today is sponsored by Loudix Jewelry, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Our scoreboard, thanks to a four point run, has the Preston Knights up 20 to 17. And Josie Kalwicki has been the server for three of those points. And we are back to action. First time out goes to Eric Hoover and the Mohawk Warriors. Back set. And left leaving her shot short was A.J. Savalier. Big lead of the match so far right here, four points. They were down 17-16, and they put five in a row together. And the circuit right on the back line. 22-17. Uh, Russell thought that was out. It's always a tough decision when the ball's uh, right around in that mid-body range. Is it going to be out or in? And that one ended up on the floor for an ace. Second timeout to Eric Cooper's team. Timeout WSN. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Elida High School. Tonight's instant replay sponsor is Carry Insurance in Grover Hill. Call or stop by so we can assist you with all your insurance needs. Basically, back-to-back -back timeouts, Chris, by Coach Hoover. Well, and he didn't keep the girls on the off the floor very long because before you got us all off the air, they were already back on the floor. Here's Joseph Paul Wickers, Paul Wicky. She has served five of the six points on this run, and they are three points away from taking the opening set. Are the Crestview Knights? Set. 
That ball's blocked to a point. Is that Gregory? I believe. Oh, Kelly, I think, got sent it back. That's uh, Crestview's third block already. Here's Kowicki again. She's really mixing up the location of her serve as well. Tipped over by Miller. This hit goes to Chevalier. Figley, was it touched? It was not. That breaks the run. It is 23-18. Well, I was pretty sure it wasn't touched, Mark, because that came across right toward us with no spin whatsoever at all. And if there would have been a touch on it, there would have been a little spin on the ball. 23-18 after six service points for Josie Kawicki. Gregory tips. And that ball hit the antenna. And Crestview is a point away from taking the opening set. And doing so with Kelly Gregory to serve. And tip the tip out of bounds. Crestview will take the opening set and they will do so. 25-18, set two coming up right after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Second set action coming up from the Union Bank Court here at the Elida Fieldhouse. Our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Loudix Jewelry. Your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. Chris, it was 17-16 Mohawk. Nine out of the last 10 points went the way of the Crestview Knights. And they come away with a 25-18 first set victory. How about your stat numbers? Well, first of all, for Crestview, they had 13 kills, led by Adeline Figley with five, and Callie Gregory with four. Four ace serves, two of them by Josie Kalwicki. They blocked three balls for points and missed two serves. For Mohawk, they had seven kills from six different girls, so they're spreading that out pretty well. Two by Biz Klopp. They had one ace serve and two blocks for points. Both teams blocked extremely well. And in that opening set when the Crestview made their big run, Biz Klopp had rotated out, and that made a huge difference along with the serving of Joseph Kawicki. Name another sport where it, that happens. You know, it just doesn't happen that way. I suppose maybe in baseball and softball, you can, you know, your, your best hitters can be four or five hitters away possibly, but other than that, volleyball is very unique to that. You've got your best hitter on the bench. So Crestview will get to, to serve first here in our second set, and that means the libero, Ellie Klein, will open up this set. Pitch it to her counterpart, Russell. This is Biz Klopp, and he's blocked, and blocked in for a point. I know uh, Maya Esler was there, so was Casey Gregory, and one of them's got, got a point for their efforts. Well. She hasn't tipped the ball strategically very many times. Maybe she needs to do that here. This will be a set for Avery Hoover. Figley. Clout. No, shows, need, no need to tip that one. No, shows you why she had 462 kills in their first 25 matches. Avery Hoover, Hoover's turn to serve. Tied at one. Gregory sets Etzler. 2-1 Knights. Crestview got here with a uh, win in a sectional final over, over Pandora Gilboa, then defeated Kaleida and Lipsick in the district. They are nine wins, uh, nine set wins, and no set losses here. That one's long. But they were really cruel to the Putnam County League. <laughs> yes, they have. So if you're looking for how the Mohawk Warriors got here. They defeated North Baltimore 3-0, and then Hopewell Loudon and in the, in the district semis, and Carey in the district finals. Those were both 3-1. There's an ace. 3-2 Mohawk on the ace by Molly Ward. Here's Molly again. Back set. Casey Gregory ties at three. Their first kill. Casey's a 5-5 freshman. 83 kills. 
35, 30 aces, 55 assists, and 204 digs for the all-around player. She just added to that. They've dropped a lot of balls on the back line here through the first set and partway into this set. But not that yeah. time. We're tied at four. And I have to retrieve those. Yes, you do. <laughs> Using a three-ball system here, but yeah. you're kind of part of that rotation. Yeah, I'm one of them, yeah. <laughs> Here's Allison Russell to serve. And Allison will get an ace for 25th of the season. Two aces so far for the Mohawk, uh, for Mohawk right now. Yes. And uh, Mark, they served over 96% this year as a team. That's about the highest I've ever heard in the 40-some years I've been paying attention to volleyball. And drop that one on the back line. 6-4. Well, that was a nice float serve. You and I could see how that was just moving like a knuckleball. It just died right at the end, right on the back line. 6-4 for Russell's team. Almost another one. Set. Kill out of the middle. We'll chalk that one up to May Miller. 7-4. Mohawk has come out here early in the set. Two taking a three-point lead. Gregory, two-hand push, what a play. 7-5. Well, well, you know, she's been blocked a few times, and so she has at least two uh, kills on tips now, so so good for her. Just pushed the ball to the open area of the floor. It's Maya Etzler with her 34 aces. A big hit was by Miller again. She gets that hit. And they keep it alive and free ball it over. This will be set for uh, A.J. Savalier. Callie Gregory. Callie Gregory makes it 7-6 Mohawk. Kill number six. Trying to tie it up, the service of uh, Maya Etzler. And that overpass ended up to Gregory. That was a good dig by Russell. Free ball over, short set. Crestview scrambling to keep it alive, but it's blocked at the net. Mia Miller's had a good set so far. It's 8-6. Yes, yeah, she has. She's had... Uh, a kill, a block right there for a point, and hit the ball really hard. Listed as a 5'10 senior. She's second on the team in kills with 294. Callie Gregory, 8'7. Just Josie Kawicki in, in it to serve. Her six service points were huge back at the end of set number one. Cross-court pass, it's blocked, and unable to keep it alive. It's kind of Gregory again. And uh, Crestview almost celebrated too soon on that. Uh, Moa kept that ball alive, just couldn't quite get it over the net. Kelly Gregory is adept at hitting from either corner or the middle, middle isn't she? And oh, she yeah. can but, do well, it as yeah, a center course, as well. Yeah. Yep, great athlete, smart player. Figley hit the that ball right there. Adlin Fidley gets a point for her team as Mohawk couldn't get it back and Crestview trailed 7-4 is now up at 9-8. I think Klaus would like to have that back and get, and get a second attempt on that. She would have put it over the net. The kill was by Mia Miller. The diving effort by Crestview trying to keep it alive. We're tied at 9. Well, this set's developing a little like the first set. At this point in the first set, neither team could really put a bunch of points together, and it stayed real close, just like this right here. Caitlin Ogg, she and Faith Miller exchange positions. Faith plays in the front row, Ogg plays in the back row. Figley pushes the ball, a really nice diving effort by uh, number five, Avery Hoover, but then the second contact was illegal. I think Miller knew it too. She 
didn't dispute the call in any manner. Gregory slowed serve. That's Miller. Klein sets this time to Casey Gregory. And then the kill goes to Chevalier. Tied at 10. Well, you're right, Chris. The middle part of set one was just exactly like this. Back and forth, back and forth. Couple point lead here or there. And then Crestview exploded. That's a good serve. Figley tips to the middle of the floor. I think the crowd uh -huh. is telling the folks at home who got that point. We got the student section from Mohawk right next to us. Casey Gregory left her shot short and the net. 12-10 Mohawk Warriors. Gregory sets. That was Sidney in the middle. She breaks the spell and it's 12-11 Mohawk. That's her sixth kill on the night. Just the first kill though in set number two. Maya Etzler will enter to play the front row and now the climb will serve. Hoover. And she hit it long. Uh, she got underneath the ball a little bit too, too much on that and she wasn't able to get her arm fully extended to hit down on it. And that ties it at 12. Just tipped over that time by clock. Climbed over and saved that one. Clock. Figley bumped it up in the air. Gregory. And right to you, Chris. But a little long. Or no, it was in, wasn't it? I think they, yeah, I think yeah, that was she, in. Yep. It was enough topspin on to make a dive on the back line. Yep. I followed it the whole way, just well. like you're supposed to. How about this one? Ace, yes it is. Here comes Crestview again. They 12, trailed 12-10. They're now up 14-12. This is Libero Klein serving, and she another gets another ace. 15-12. 15-12, out, Mohawk. You're watching high school turn the volleyball on WOSN. Slice this a replay sponsor is Carry Insurance in Grover Hill. Call or stop by so we can assist you with all your insurance needs. Uh, Loudest Jewelry scoreboard. Preston has scored the last five points and have gone from being down two to being up three. Timeout for Mohawk and Klein continues her serve. Pop in the middle. And that time she soft touches it to an open area. Timeout worked. Served by Avery Hoover, and Avery Hoover gets an ace. It's her first ace, go along with two kills. Seems like we've had a lot of those in this set. Aces by both teams. Etzler tips to the middle of the floor, and my Etzler scores. Each team has a... Uh, well, uh, Mohawk's got four aces, and, and Crestview has two, so you're right. That's, that's a lot of aces for these teams. And we're roughly halfway through the set. Good play by Casey Gregory. Callie pushes it to the back row, where it's tracked down. Russell did a nice job of reading that. Yes, she did, and then Klopp... Hit it off of two blockers out of bounds. So Mohawk will get the serve back. And they're and back within one. When that happens, Molly Ward pops up off the bench. She's got an ace in this set. She does, yes. To Figley. Kelly Gregory will set. Ball was hit by Kennedy Kreider. And Klopp. 16 all. 
for the last five points go the Warriors way to tie it at 16. Etzler, good diving effort by Russell but couldn't keep it in play. 17-16 Crestview. Well, this is about the time in set number one that Crestview took off. It is Casey Gregory's turn to serve. And we got illegal contact. We do. 18-16 Knights. Ball was passed a little bit too tight to the net. And uh, Ward had a tough time getting uh, both uh, hands on that at the same time. Ward will set Klopp again. It's blocked, but the point will go to Klopp. That's, her, that's her sixth kill in this set. 18-17. She had just a, what, a couple in the opening set. Just, that just two yeah. overall, yeah. Just two in the first and six in this one. Russell. Gregory's block, the shot is blocked, but out of bounds. 1917 Knights. Maya Etzler will go behind the line to serve. And Maya Etzler gets an ace. It is 2017 the Knights. 35th of the season for her. Maya serves again. 6-3 senior. Ball was tipped and got a point. Give it to Maya Mia Miller. 2018. Gracie Klaus. And this is uh, Klopp's second rotation on the bench. Ooh. That is Kelly Gregory. Wow, that was it pretty hard. Interesting as that service takes place. It is Josie Kawicki's turn. Her team needs four to take set two, and she had such a big service in the last set. She did, exactly right. Two aces in that stretch, too. Good serve. Klein will set. Figley hits it through two blockers. Well, good for Crestview to turn that uh, mediocre first pass into a kill. Timeout. This one will go to the Mohawk Warriors. Crestview, three points away from taking this set. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. TV44 and WSN are non-profit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click Donate Here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. Visit WTLW.com. Mark, this point is a huge point, 22 to 18. It's either going to be a five-point lead or a three-point lead um, after this point. Here's the set. That's chipped in the middle by Miller. Oh, nice job. Yes. That was Gregory. Three balled over. Back set and a hit. Faith Miller missed, and that point goes to Crestview. There's give the Crestview, five point lead. Yeah, give them credit on getting, getting that ball that was passed over near the sidelines, and Gregory ran that ball down and, and clobbered it back into the middle of the court. What an athlete, huh? Overpass ends up right in the wheelhouse of Adeline Figley, and she puts it away. Here is Crestview, a point away from taking set number two. And again with the service of Josie Kawicki. Good serve. That's blocked, blocked out of bounds. 24-19. That's Miller's fifth kill. Klopp will not get back into the game unless it goes to extra points. Set. Figley. Allen Figley. 25-19. A second set victory for Crestview as we'll go to set number three. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN.
We're back at the Atlanta Fieldhouse. Our scoreboard sponsor tonight is Loudix Jewelry, your family-owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wert or online at loudix.com. To Sloot Hope, it was a 17-16 Mohawk. The nine of the next 10 points went the way of Crestview in set one. It was tied at 16. Nine of the next 12 points go the way of the Crestview Knights, and they've got a 2-0 set lead. Well, they've just played tougher in the 20s. Um, give Crestview a lot of credit there to stick with that and win those two sets. Uh, statistically, Crestview had 14 kills in that set and three aces. They were led by uh, uh, their great player, Callie Gregory, at six, and Adlin Figley also having a great night tonight. She had four kills. Uh, they had three aces, two of them by Ellie uh, Klein, the libero. For Mohawk, they had 11 kills, led by Biz Klopp with six, and Mia Miller had four. She had a really good set, and they had four aces, and the, libero, the junior libero, Allison Russell, had two of those aces with her extremely good float serve. Um, Mohawk had a block. They haven't missed any serves yet tonight, and Crestview had two blocks and a missed serve. And we go to set three with Avery Hoover to begin the set. And Crestview begins the set by giving it to Maya Etzler, and she puts the ball away. And that's her sixth kill. Kennedy Kreider will play in the front row. Evelyn Figlin served that one, and what do we have? Reached over the top of the net. That's a hard call for us to see from from our angle <laughs> here. Is, yeah. to wait and look and yeah. see what the referee called. I think we'll let him call that yeah, one. I on think it. so. We're tied at one as Molly Ward will serve. She had an ace in the last set. She did. And kill is to Etzler. 2-1 Crestview. The winner will get Tiffin Calvert on Saturday at 2 o'clock. First two points in this set are the future Ashland Eagle, where I went to school with uh, two kills. Good for her. You got two kills at Ashland? <laughs> <laughs> There's a block. Hessel was there. So was um, Gregory. 3-1. Casey Gregory will serve again. Almost an ace for her. Put her certainly on the heels that time as Lickley played it. Here's the set by Klein. And clock. I have not seen the uh, all tournament all the league team from the Northern 10 yet this year, but she was the player of the year as a freshman a year ago in that conference. That's amazing. As a freshman now. Etzler. A little different place for her to get a kill opportunity. Well, you know, you have to start through rotation in your home spot, so she gets a chance to hit on the right side a few times. Now she gets a chance to serve, does Maya Esler. Ward had to run a long way to get that one. And set it. Gregory Kelly. Well, Mark, you and I saw Crestview play quite a few times last year, and uh, I thought Gregory was an outstanding hitter. She's better this year than last year. She hits the ball so hard, and uh, that vertical jump is better, and she also can tip it strategically pretty well. Set, hit. That one will stay in for Mia Miller. That's her sixth kill. She's had a nice three. game. Crusty has two losses on the year. Five set loss back in August to Coldwater. And Gregory just tips and gets a point that way this time. 6-3. They also have a loss to Decatur Belmont, who is 34-2. And, and this Saturday will play for the Indiana State Championship. They always play in that opening uh, early in the season uh, tournament, which is one of the great tournaments in this area. And got it in. A little bit of spin on the ball. Miller got it to drop down for her at 
Well, I've, I've seen some volleyball, Chris. I don't get to see everybody, of course, and we're looking forward to getting to the Ohio State tournament next weekend. But Decatur Belmont is the best volleyball team I've seen in 2023. Oh. Figley was it touched. It was not, so she missed the back line. It is 6-5. Are they in the small school division in Indiana, or do you know? I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. Caitlin Ogg. Oh, what a play. Yep. Wow. Haley McCoy got enough on it with some top spin or side spin or whatever to get it to dive in the back line. And Russell good. gave a nice effort on that, but the, yeah. it was just kind of a goofy play. Puts her team up two. Back set will go to Alt Miller. Figley. The recipient of yet another good assist pass. Well, the juniors got uh, 10 kills tonight. Would that be the team leader then for Crestview? That is not uh, the team leader Gregory. for Crestview. Gregory has yeah. 12. Okay. Klein runs that one down. And she read that really well. Good diving effort, effort by Casey Gregory. Klein saved that one, and that was going to be played across the illegally by Figley. 8-6. Mohawk trying to stay alive, keep their undefeated season alive, and get to the regional finals. Oh, nice serve. Good topspin serve from Miller. Crestview trying to get back to the state tournament for the second year in a row. They're taking a three-point lead here in set number three with Ellie Klein to serve. One of the talented liberos in our area. That kill goes to Mohawk at 9-7. They can thank the high ceiling for that. That, uh, that first pass went up there pretty close to the, to the roof. Loudix Jewelry is sponsoring our scoreboard this evening. It is 9-7 Crestview. Greg will back set that and Figley hits. Pushing to the open areas, Biz Klopp makes it 9-8. That's her 10th kill, which is really well. You know, she started off pretty tough. The first two hits she had were out, and then they blocked her a couple times, and she's really rallied since then. That serve from Avery Hoover missed at the sideline, makes it 10-8, Crestview. That's their first miss tonight, and a rare miss for Mohawk. As I said earlier, as a team, they serve higher than 96%. Uh, Set, clock tips. Klein will set. And Casey Gregory gets her turn to score a point. 11-8, Crestview. She has two kills now. Solid all-around player is the freshman. Figley with that serve. That's blocked by Etzler. Klein will set again. Casey Gregory gets it blocked, but it gets blocked out of bounds. Point Knights. 12-8. Coach Eric Hoover in his 20th year and got his 400th win in the district final against Carey. How many is that a year? You know, I don't do much in the way of math, but that's pretty good, I think. That's 20. Yeah, right on. Even, even you can uh, figure I that out. I think maybe. Huh? Well, maybe. Tip. Kind of an awkward point going here. Gregory changes that. Casey Gregory's come alive a bit here in this set. She has three kills in this set and four overall. 18. Along with her two aces. 18-13s means Mohawk timeout. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Tonight's news and replay sponsors, Carry Insurance and Grover Hill. Call or stop by so we can assist you with all your insurance needs. Lots of Crestview replays here in this set as they have taken a uh, five-point lead at 13 to 8. And Adeline Figley serves that. Bangs it to Russell. Clock. And that got down. 
That was a good serve received by Russell. Moving to her left, and she was yeah. able to pass that over right on target. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of, of uh, really nice libero play. Grayson Freiberger at Shawnee was the player of the year in the Western Buckeye League as a libero. I would say she's probably pretty good. She's probably pretty good. <laughs> Etzler. And we're seeing two good ones here this evening as well. There's a kill. Timeout work. Got it to 13 to 10. We've seen Ellie Klein from Crestview and Allison Russell from Mohawk. Two very good liberos for these teams as well. Gregory sets up her sister and gets a point. 14-10. And this will be Casey Gregory to serve. Ward had to run a long way to get that set. Callie Gregory, clock with a block. And then clock with a killman's block, that time by Kreider. And then pushed to the open area. That point goes to Faith Miller. 14-11. Mark, the, Mark, the uh, ball girls here at Eli to do a fantastic job of keeping this game moving. They use a three-ball system, so there's three balls that are rotating in and out. And uh, they just do a great job having a ball for the server every time. That's through with that kill. 15-11. Well, Elida is so experienced in running tournaments, and it seems like every sport. Good facilities and really good people running things here, led by Dave Evans, the athletic director. Yep. 15-11. That's set by Lickley. Miller tried to tip it to an open area. He's going to get a point for her efforts. Fifteen twelve, And they actually have concession stand at both ends of the gym now. So uh, people that haven't seen that yet, they'll be happy to know that there's a concession stand at both ends. Increase the bathroom size here. Did lots of really cool things with this facility. There's a kill. That goes to Mia Miller. She's having a really good night. That's nine kills for her. 15-13. She was second on the team with 294. So over 300 kills for her on the season. Set. Gregory. But she hits it to Russell this time. And Russell will play it over. Gregory didn't get the set she wanted and pushed the ball in an open area. Chopped that point to Molly Ward. Mohawk making a run here to get back to within one. And that was a really smart play on her part. And with that, Coach Tammy Gregory at her 300 wins this season takes a timeout. It's 14 15. Press you, you're watching high school tournament volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard by Lada Shuri, your family owned and operated jeweler for over 70 years. Visit them at 1244 South Shannon Street in Van Wilder online at Lodix.com. And our instant replay night is sponsored by Kerry Insurance in Grover Hill. Call or stop by so we can assist you with all your insurance needs. You talked about the Mohawk student section beside us, and they are alive, Chris. And the adults also know yeah, on both sides. to Gregory, tips to the open area. They kept it alive. Did they three ball over? They did. Mohawk scrambles and makes a play. And then the kill attempt out of the middle by Haley McCoy goes into the net. We're tied at 15. The last four points now have gone to Mohawk. Partly because of the serving of Gracie Klaus. Block. Blocked in. That's what we got. I think the ball came down on Mohawk side of the net. I think they did. 16-15. I wasn't sure whether he was pointing at that or whether somebody's foot was across the line, but I think it fell on the side of Mohawk. A little difficult to tell sometimes from the angle we're at. Policki serves. Miller gets it blocked. 
Callie Gregory. Best you answered. It was 15 all. They got a two point lead. <coughs> Each team was called a timeout in set three. Back set, pushed by Miller. What would you need a point? You look at Callie Gregory. Yep, yep, that's her uh, 14th kill. Three point night lead. 18-16, Mohawk. The Mohawk needs to make a run right here. Caitlin Ogg winner. I'm sorry. This is that time in the game where uh, Crestry really picked it up, so uh, I'm sure that Mohawk knows that, so this is their time right here. They have to do this. How about the oh, set that hit. time? Gregory ran all the way out of bounds and set the ball cross court to her teammate Figley. Fidley gets the kill. They're just an excellent teamwork between those two. Back set. Touch. Yes, we got a touch by the line judge. So the point will go to Mia Miller. That's her fifth kill in this set. Now she comes back to serve, which means Klopp's back in the game in the front row. Those two middle hitters are really a, a nice combination. Block, Klopp, block the kill attempt. It's 19-18. And the serve went out of bounds. 2018. Emily Klein, or Ellie Klein, excuse me. And Ellie Klein serve will go long. It's 2019. Mohawk down one. And uh, AJ Chevalier will enter to be a front row player. And Avery Hoover serves. Maya Etzler in the middle, 21 to 19. She's having a good third set. That's her fifth kill, 10th overall. To Russell, Klopp out of the middle, block. Klopp again, blocked by Etzler. So they go to, to Miller, or Chevalier, excuse me. Tip by Casey Gregory. And pushed to the back corner, but she just missed. Good team, time to try. The teams are exchanging points right now, which if you're Mohawk, you, you don't want that. If you're Crestview, you also would like to get maybe a two-point time in there. Just it's just too close right now for either team to be satisfied with exchanging points. 21-20. Mohawk and the serve from Molly Ward trying to even it up. Here's Ward set. Clock nice hit dig. that one. Roll shot. It's going to end up being a point. Figley scored that point. I had to wait to get all the bodies out of my way so I could see who hit the ball. 22-20. Yeah. Casey Gregory, her team needs three. Back set clock. This time she tips it over. Here's the set by Lickley. And Gregory goes off a blocker for a point. 23-20. Crestview fans are getting yeah. up on their feet. Coach Hoover asked to have a timeout left, and he does. His team trails by three at 23-20. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team's scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app. So make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all of the scores. Well, that was another short timeout from Coach Hoover. I'm sure at this point in the season, there's not a whole lot uh, strategically that you would discuss, but they haven't been behind uh, 
like this the whole year, being undefeated. They haven't been uh, in a position where they've been down two games to none. He's got seven seniors. He's going to rely on them to somehow get some points here. Well, it starts with his first pass. And it starts with a serve from Casey Gregory. And she's been serving really tough tonight. Gregory. Backs that clock. And clock scores to break the string. 23-21. And now Crestview needs to start this with a good pass. Allison Russell. Set to Gregory. Russell got a hand on it, but couldn't keep it in play. 24-21. Knights need a point. Good rotation for both teams right here. Callie Gregory to serve. No, that's for the serve, excuse me. Block, but to keep it alive. This will be Chevalier. Here's the set. Gregory. Was it touched? Nope, we got somebody in the net. We have a Mohawk player in the net, and that means the point will go the way of the Crestview Knights, and they will take set number three, 25-21. Well, as well played as that set was, because that's a tough way to, to lose oh, that particular set. It is. It's very tough, but you have to call. You have you, to call. You, you that's can't correct. let that slide. It doesn't matter whether it's in the first point of the first set or at the end of the match. They got to make that particular call. So the Crestview Knights will go 25-18, 25-19, and 25-21 to win this regional semifinal. That brings them back to play here on Saturday to play Tiffin Calvert. Calvert was a winner over Ayersville tonight, 25-18, 25-22, and 25-12. The winner Saturday will end up in the state semifinals. That will be November 11th at, excuse me, November 10th. That will be at 6 p.m. They will play the winner of Region 13. The four teams that were competing in the Region 13 were Buckeye Central, the number 14 team in the state, Columbia Station, the number 19, Canton Central Catholic, and the number 20 team in the state, McDonald. The state finals are November 11th at 5 p.m. How about some stat numbers, Chris? Well, first of all, congratulations to Mohawk on a great season. Uh, only one team ends their season on a win, and I'm sure this is a really tough loss for them. They ended up with just one loss on the year at 25-1. Uh, and one. They were led uh, with Biz Klopp with 12 kills and Mia Miller with 10 kills. They had 31 kills overall, five ace serves, five blocks for points, and two missed serves. And again, a great season for Mohawk. And congratulations to Crestview. Uh, they go to the regional finals now. And they were led tonight with uh, Callie Gregory with 16 kills. Adlin Figley, great outside hitter at 13 kills. And Maya Etzler, the middle hitter, nine kills. He had 47 kills altogether with seven ace serves. By the way, there were no ace serves in the, in the entire third set. So both teams really picked it up on serve receive. They did have seven blocks for points and they missed five serves. Thank you for keeping the numbers, Chris, and for your commentary this evening. Our scoreboard has been sponsored by Loudix Jewelry. Our instant replay by Kerry Insurance. Thank the athletic director here, Mr. Dave Evans. Does a great job, he and his staff. We want to thank Megan Sherrick. She set up all the camera and technical stuff this evening, and Megan will edit this back together at the station on Beatty Road. The Crestview Knights at 24-2, and two, a step away from getting back to the state tournament. We will see on Saturday if they can do so when they match up with Tiffin Calvert here in this facility at 2 p.m. Three-set victory for Crestview tonight. They will go to 24-2. You've been watching High School Turtle Volleyball on WOSN.